Hey there, investing iguanas. It's Iggy here, and I've got some exciting news for you. We're shaking things up a bit on the channel, and I can't wait to share it with you. First off, I want to introduce you to Ivan and Irene, our awesome new podcast hosts. These two are absolute whizzes when it comes to finance, and they're here to bring you fresh, relevant content in a whole new way. So, what's the deal with this podcast format? Well, we figured it's time to make finance even more digestible. Ivan and Irene will be chatting about all things money, from stocks to CPF schemes, in a casual, easy-to-follow conversation. It's like eavesdropping on two finance experts at a coffee shop, minus the awkwardness of actually doing that. This new format is all about making complex financial topics feel less daunting. Whether you're commuting, working out, or just chilling at home, you can tune in and soak up some financial wisdom. Don't worry though, I'm not going anywhere. You'll still see me around, breaking down the numbers, and giving you the scoop on the latest market trends. This podcast is just another way for us to help you level up your financial game. So, are you ready to meet Ivan and Irene? Let's go. Okay, so GXS Bank, right. They've been popping up everywhere lately, haven't they? Seems like everyone's talking about their savings account. Yeah, they've definitely been making some noise. And for good reason. At least, that's what we're here to figure out. We've been digging deep into this, going through articles, analyses, all that good stuff. Trying to cut through the hype, see what's really going on. Exactly. So for anyone out there who's been wondering if the GXS bank savings account lives up to the hype, well, this deep dive is for you. Absolutely. It's all about giving you the information you need to decide if it's the right fit for your own savings goals. Because, let's be real, saving money these days, it can feel like navigating a maze. So many options, so many terms and conditions, it's enough to make anyone's head spin. Right, and that's what caught my eye about GXS Bank. They've really tried to simplify things, make saving more, I don't know, approachable. Yeah. Approachable is a good word for it. I mean, just looking at their website, they highlight things like daily interest credits, no minimum balance requirement, no lock-in periods. All the things that used to be considered like right. premium features, they're just offering them straight up. Exactly. It's like they looked at all the hoops traditional banks make you jump through and just said, nope, not going to do it. And honestly, in today's world, that's a breath of fresh air. Totally. But let's get down to brass tacks here. They're advertising 2.38% interest on the main account. And then they have this other thing called savings pockets, which offer 2.68%. Okay, first of all, savings pockets. What even is that? So savings pockets are basically like sub accounts within your main GXS account. You can create different pockets for different savings goals, and each pocket earns its own interest rate. Oh, interesting. So instead of having like a million different accounts for different things, I can just have one GXS account with multiple pockets. Exactly. It's all about organization and making your money work smarter, not harder. I can get behind that. But back to this daily interest thing for a sec. Does that actually make a noticeable difference? You'd be surprised. It might seem small, but that daily compounding can really add up over time. Okay, break it down for me. How much are we really talking about here? Well, let's say you deposit $10,000. With daily interest, you could potentially earn around $70 more per year compared to an account that only compounds monthly. Wow, okay, $70 is not nothing. It's like a free dinner just for being responsible with my money. Exactly. And those small gains can really snowball over time, especially if you're consistently saving. This all sounds pretty good, but here's where I always get a little hesitant with these newer digital banks. Are they safe? Is my money actually secure with GXS? I get it. That's a valid concern. But from what we've seen, GXS Bank seems to be legit. They're licensed by the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Okay, so they're regulated. That's good to know. Yeah, and that also means your deposits are protected by the Singapore Deposit Insurance Corporation up to $75,000. Oh, right, the SDIC. So even if, worst case scenario, something were to happen to GXS, my money is still safe. Exactly. It's the same level of protection you'd get with any traditional bank in Singapore. Okay, that definitely eases my mind a bit. It's always good to be cautious, but it seems like GXS is checking all the right boxes in terms of security. Right. So far, so good. Easy to use, competitive rates, and most importantly, my money is safe. But I have a feeling there's more to this story. What else did our deep dive uncover? Well, they have this new feature that has everyone buzzing. Have you heard of the Boost Pocket? Boost Pocket? Ooh, that sounds intriguing. Tell me more. It's basically like a turbocharged savings account within your GXS account. Okay. How turbocharged are we talking? I think interest rates as high as 3.48% per year. Hold on. 3.48%. That's, that's a serious jump. All right. What's the catch? There's always a catch with these things, right? You're right to be skeptical. 
While that high introductory rate is definitely tempting, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. First, there's a limit on how much you can put into a boost pocket. It maxes out at $30,000. Okay, so while that's still a good chunk of change, it's not like I can just throw my entire life savings in there. Right, and the other thing is that the special introductory rate isn't going to last forever. So it's like, get it while it's hot kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely designed to attract new customers, get people excited. But that being said, even with that limited time offer, it still offers some pretty good flexibility. You choose a 10 year, one month or three months, and your interest rate is locked in for that period. Right. Like a mini fixed deposit, but within my savings account. Exactly. It's like the best of both worlds. OK, I'm kind of getting it. But what if something comes up and I need to access that money before the 10 years up? Am I just stuck? Not at all. Hmm. You have the option for early withdrawal. You'd still get the standard base rate on your deposit up to the day you withdraw. Oh, so it's not like I'm penalized for needing my money. Nope. They've made it pretty flexible. Oh, OK. But, OK. I see why they call it a boost pocket. But, you know, it's making me think maybe GXS is good for like short term stuff, you know, like if I'm saving for a vacation or something. But what if I'm thinking bigger picture, like serious long term savings goals? You're thinking about those bigger financial goals. I like it. And you're right. GXS does have that limit on how much you can save overall. That's why in our research for this deep dive, we also took a look at Stashway's Simple Guaranteed. It's designed for people who are thinking long term and potentially want even higher returns, especially on larger sums of money. Higher returns, larger sums. <sighs> now you're speaking my language. Tell me more. What did we find out about this stash away thing? Well, one of the articles we looked at actually did this really great side-by-side -side comparison of GXS and Stashway Simple Guaranteed, and the difference in potential returns was pretty eye-opening. The highest rate you can get on a GXS savings account is that 2.68% we talked about, right? With Stashaway, you could earn up to 3.3% per year. Okay, wait, hold up. 3.3% guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's the beauty of it. No matter what the market does, you know exactly what you're getting. Okay, now that is tempting. And are there any limits on how much I can deposit? Because we know GXS taps out at $75,000. That's another key difference. With Stashaway Simple guaranteed, there are no deposit limits. So mm -hmm. whether you've got 10 grand or 100 grand to invest, you can still get those guaranteed returns. No deposit limits, guaranteed returns, potentially higher interest than GXS. Okay, this is starting to sound almost too good to be true. Give me the other side. What's the trade-off here? You're right to ask. You know, no financial product is absolutely perfect. One thing is that, unlike GXS with their daily interest, stash away credits interest monthly. Right, okay. So I might have to wait a little bit longer to see that money in my account. Exactly. But on the plus side, there are absolutely no management fees. Okay, that's good. So what else is there? There's got to be something else. Well, the interest rate you earn is tiered. It's based on how long you choose to lock your money in for, your chosen tenure. Peered interest rates. Okay, explain that to me like I'm five, because frankly, sometimes these financial terms just go over my head. Basically, you can choose a tenure anywhere from one month to a full year. And the shorter the tenure you choose, the slightly higher the interest rate. For example, if you lock your money in for one month, you might get, say, a 3.15% interest rate. But if you commit to three months, it could jump up to 3.3%. Interesting. So it's like shorter commitment, slightly lower returns, longer commitment, potentially higher returns. It really makes you think about your savings timeline, huh? That's the point. Yeah. It encourages you to be strategic, figure out what works best for you and your goals. Okay, I got to be honest. Stash Away is sounding pretty good right now, but help me score this in my head. If Stash Away has these higher potential returns, it's guaranteed, no deposit limits. Why would anyone even bother with GXS? Because, like with anything else in the financial world, it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. It all boils down to your individual needs, your financial goals. So it's less about which one is objectively better and more about which one's a better fit for my own personal situation. Exactly. If you really prioritize that simplicity and ease of use that GXS offers, if you love seeing that daily interest hit your account and you're working with smaller amounts, then GXS might be perfect for you. And let's not forget about that boost pocket. If you're looking for a short-term boost to your savings, that's hard to beat. But if I'm hearing you correctly, if I've got a larger sum to invest and I'm okay with playing the long game, Stash Away Simple Guaranteed could help me potentially earn more with that added bonus of knowing my money is growing steadily. You got it. Yeah. It's all about aligning the right financial tool with your objectives. All right. This has been seriously eye-opening, but I have a feeling you're not done yet. Mm. 
There's always one more thing, right? You know me too well. Yeah. There's one more thing, and it's a bit of a big picture thought. Here, lay on me. So we've talked about GXS. We've talked about Stashway, Simple Guaranteed. But what this whole deep dive has really highlighted for me is the importance of diversification in a, you know your saving strategy. Ah, yes, diversification. Music to my ears. It's not just about finding the best savings account. It's about having the right mix of accounts and investments to match your goals. Right. So like I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket and I also wouldn't put all my savings into one account, even if it has a catchy name like Boost Pocket. Exactly. It's about spreading the risk, but it's also about spreading the opportunity. Short term savings, long term goals, emergency funds. Okay. They, they might all need different approaches. OK, I'm with you. So how do I actually put this diversification thing into practice? Well, think of it like this. Maybe GXS is your go-to for everyday expenses and short-term goals with those daily interest payments and the flexibility it offers. And then Stashway Simple Guaranteed could be your powerhouse for building long-term wealth where you're comfortable letting your money grow steadily with those guaranteed returns. It's like having the best of both worlds, right? Exactly. Each one working together to help you reach your full financial potential. Okay, I love that. So for our listeners out there who are feeling inspired to shake things up, what are the key takeaways from today's deep dive? I think the biggest one is that it's personal. What works for me might not work for you. The best saving plan is the one that aligns with your own financial goals, your risk tolerance, your timeline. It's about finding that sweet spot, that perfect balance. Exactly. And don't be afraid to think outside the box a little. There are so many innovative solutions out there these days like that GXS boost pocket or the guaranteed returns of stash away simple. Guaranteed, don't limit yourself. Shop around, explore your options. Yes, and most importantly, if you're feeling lost or overwhelmed, don't hesitate to reach out to a financial advisor. They can help you make sense of it all and create a personalized plan that actually works for you. Because sometimes you just need a little guidance from the pros. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. We've explored the ins and outs of the GXS Bank Savings account. We've sized it up against Stash Away Simple Guaranteed. And most importantly, we've given you the knowledge and maybe even a little bit of inspiration to take control of your savings game. It's all about making those smart choices today to set yourself up for a brighter financial future. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Until next time, keep saving smart, keep asking questions, and keep those financial goals in sight.